Right, uh, I haven't done a video for um, it's a couple of weeks now because uh, I've been a bit busy. Uh, I'll let you know why I've been a bit busy in a future video. Um, but for today's video, I've got a really interesting uh, project. I've, I've been asked, especially lately, a few times to uh, take a look at a guy on YouTube who um, did a 9 frequency honeycomb dome. Um, I, I didn't say that he finished it, uh, but I, I reckon I worked out how he's done it uh, and I found, uh, somebody sent me actually, a um, really cool 9 frequency uh, honeycomb project that they have done themselves. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I'll show you how I think they built it. Uh, this chap built uh, a 9 frequency dome using a diagram that I, that I sent. I either found it on the internet or I sent them. I can't remember to be honest because I, I get that many emails and I send that much stuff out. I can't remember what I've sent out to people. Uh, but anyway, as far as I know, it was based on a diagram that I did. Um, and all he had was the diagram. There was no, no plans, no measurements, nothing. And he's worked out how to build a nine frequency um, honeycomb style dome. It's really quite impressive. Uh, what we're going to do is I'll drop a link to his video in the um, description. So pop down and have a look at that. And uh, anybody who is interested, if you want me to do some sort of plans or something like that, drop me a, a note in the comments and I'll happily oblige. I've been a bit busy, like I say, at the minute. Um, but hopefully I want to, uh, things will go back to normal, um, especially as we go around to Christmas and that sort of thing. So I, hopefully, touch wood, I'll have time to do it. Um, it's just that I'm flat out at the minute. Right, uh, how, I, how I think he did it was he, he basically iterated it step by step, which is a really interesting way of doing it. Uh, the blue, let me pull up the drawing here, the blue hexagons create a open full sphere framework. So if you, ju if you just had the blue hexagons, you, you would make a really open sphere. So to work, to get the bevel angle that you need for those, uh, I'm guessing that we'd have the same bevel angle all around. Um, you would, all you need, all the only piece of information you need is the, um, dis the radius and the size of the hexagon. And then you can work the bevel angle out from that. But don't use worry about that because I can do that fairly easy for you. And then what I think he's done next is, he's worked in towards the pentagon. So he'll have started with the yellow triangle. And now if you've got um, the blue triangles already have their bevel angle on them. So you can then work out what the yellow tri triangle's bevel angle should be against the blue because that's already existing then just copy that so then you've got the um, pink hexagon which has two blue set angles and now you've done your yellow one so that's got the two angles to that as well so you can literally iterate in then to the green hexagons and then to the red one. Now we made the green hexagons a slightly different shape. This is what I'm saying about iteration. And his uh, red hexagons came out a bit smaller. You don't have to um, stick rigidly to uh, the size of the of one um, element against the next. You can kind of freestyle it. So it it was it's an exceptionally um, clever build actually. To, now in the, his comments he says he took a year and a half of doing it part time so that shows you know that shows real determination uh, to work it out. Um, but if you drop down take a look at uh, his video uh, you can come back here and drop us a comment if you uh, would like plans or some measurements or some kind of idea to, to do it. Now if I do plans what I normally do is I normally work the base out and I work a door out and work windows out because um, what he's do he's literally iterated the whole thing he's with from the blue hexagons. Um, he's added in after the windows, and he's going to add a door. By what he'll do is he'll, the a section that's got hexagons and pentagons. He'll just kind of chop through them to make the door 
and you, again you'll just um, cut through and then add a door frame after sort of thing. Oops. So uh, go pop along, see his video and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one.